Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm doing selfie nails and yeah, these are really fun. So I'm starting off by dehydrating and priming her natural nails. And then I'm applying a thin layer of clear acrylic as always. Her natural nails have already been prepped for application. If you want to see how I do this, please check the cards. I'm using my number 10 Oval Kalinsky Alpha Brush. So once I have all of that clear applied, I'm going in with my glow in the dark white and I'm applying this very thin across the tip of the nails. This is going to serve two purposes. For one, it's good to have a bright white color at the tip when you're using decals or pictures because when the picture is on top of the nail, it's going to turn a bit dark. So it's good to have a white base under it to keep the picture very vibrant. And also because this glows, it's just going to add like an extra effect, something special to the nail. So when the lights are off, you can kind of see the silhouette of the picture behind the glow. So here I'm showing you guys how I'm getting this LV decal off the back of the paper. You just soak it in water for like three seconds and slide it right off and now I'm kind of like spreading this over the nail tip and cutting away any excess and you just want to keep smoothing this over the tip of the nail until it lays flat in place and now I'm just securing it with my ombre so I'm doing a glitter nail bed and I'm just fading this down the nail And the rest of the nail I will encapsulate with clear. You want to make sure that you trim the decal or picture very well and you want to leave a little bit of the tip around the edge of the nail. So really take your time to go in and trim away anything that's hanging over the nail. When you're encapsulating, you want to make sure that everything is very well encapsulated in this nail. So this is a picture that I actually printed. So I printed this picture and now I'm cutting it out to shape the nail roughly. And then I'll apply some glue onto the nail and smooth it down until it's stuck in place. And I'm repeating the same steps. I'm just blending my nail bed color down the nail.
On her middle finger, I'm doing a glitter ombre and I'm just using the glow on the dark glitter. I'm turning off the lights when I'm placing my glitter so that I can see where it's going. And then I encapsulate. I'm placing a little bit of iridescent glitter around any random bald spots. This is the other hand and I'm just going to show you guys my application process. Everything is the exact same as the other hand.
After file shaping and buffing the nails, I'm applying the wipe top coat gel to her middle finger and then I cure and I apply new chrome powder by Daily Charm with my silicone tool and I seal this in with top coat gel and cure again. Now I'm using Zule's Bling Adhesive to apply some stones and I'll be doing some 3D petals with the Glow in the Dark White from Sheba's Nails. I'm using the number 6 3D Nail Art Brush from Alpha Brush. And after the glue has fully dried, I'm applying my last coat of No Wipe Top Coat Gel and curing all the nails. Going over your petals is optional. I wanted these to be glossy for this set, so I top coated everything. After applying cuticle oil, this is the finished result. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it was helpful to you. And please stay tuned to see the glow in the dark and the reveal shots at the very end. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!
Have you been looking?